Be inspired with the special message from Bishop Macedo. Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you. And as I usually pray to God, that He may open the understanding, the minds of those who have been blinded by the God of this age. The God of this age has been blinding people and people's understandings. So this God, the God of this age, obviously, you can consider it to be vanities, pride, arrogance, selfishness, self-centeredness, and so on. Everything that directly contradicts everything that contradicts God, that contradicts the author of life, the creator of life, the Almighty, because only He and nothing else and no one else is worthy of all honor, of all glory, of praise, exaltation, and majesty, because He is the Lord. So when a person, when a person thinks that they are too important, when someone aspires to be somebody important, then for sure that person needs deliverance because only the Lord is God. So the devil blinds people's understanding especially those who are obsessed with the things of this world. Remember what we spoke about yesterday, what's more important, what's more valuable, the body or the soul? Jesus asked this question in a different way to the scribes and Pharisees, telling them what is more important, the gold that covers the inner parts of the temple or the temple that sanctifies the gold. And then he asked again, what's more important, the gift which is presented on the altar or the altar that sanctifies the gift? Therefore, my friend, when a person is looking at the altar, then they are of God. But when the person is looking at the gift, then they have been blinded by the God of this age. When they look at the beauty, the marvelousness, and the wealth that is inside of the temple, then they lose sight of the fact that it's the temple that sanctifies the gold. And so it's with our personal lives. If we prioritize or we value the physical things, the things of this world, such as vanity, wealth, or knowledge, and even our own personality, when the person values themselves more than what is inside of them, which is their soul, then it's because that person is blind. They are totally blind and can't see anything. And the Word of God, the Holy Scriptures, shows the two types or the two different people that you submit yourself to, either God or Mammon. Jesus said that you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve yourself and God at the same time. Either you serve yourself or you serve God. Either you are of God or you are of yourself. So, God, I was meditating about the hatred, the hatred that God had towards Esau. And I was asking God, oh my God, how can it be? You are love. How can you hate someone 
as poor and miserable and unhappy as he saw? It's a, a question, it's something that we ask ourselves. However, God showed me why he hated Esau. Why he hated him. Esau was the firstborn. He was eventually meant to replace Isaac, to replace the patriarch. He would become, let's say, in the eventual death of his father, he would be the patriarch. So, therefore, one of Israel's patriarchs. But when Esau manifested that arrogance, that pride, then he exalted himself. Yes, that's what happened. The holy text says that Esau was a skillful hunter and he was a man of the field, which means that he was always in the field, in the jungle. And because he was a skillful hunter, obviously that he saw himself as too good, too important. That's the reality. And because of his pride, he despised, he made light of his firstborn rights. He made light and said, look, I, I don't have to inherit from my father anymore. I can be even greater than my father. Which is what Satan did. I will go up to heavens, above the stars. I will go up and I will be. So, this spirit, this unclean spirit that makes people proud, arrogant, vain, and thinking that they are too good, then this is the spirit, is the same spirit that makes or that has been blinding people and the understanding, the understanding of the unbelievers. And that's why God hated Esau. God, who is love, hated Esau. And if you, my friend, have the same spirit, that Esau had, if you think that you are too good because of your appearance, because of your strength, of your wisdom, because of your wealth, because of your talents, if you think that you are too good, my friend, then you will be condemned to be hated as well, just as Esau did. That's what we learn. What is more important, the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold? What is more important, the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift? What's more important, your body or your soul? which is eternal. The body, you already know what's going to happen. We all know. It will rotten in this world. It will become dust. You go, it will go back to dust. But the soul doesn't die. The soul is eternal. The soul does not die. It does not die. And as long as the person is in this world, they have the ability, the condition to direct their soul, to value their soul, to prioritize the salvation of their soul instead of prioritizing their external life, this body that will eventually go back to dust. So it's a matter of intelligence. It's an intelligent faith. Jesus said, what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Not in exchange for his body. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? He said, what is the profit if a man gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Which was the case of Esau. He saw himself as a skillful hunter he knew the forests, the desert. 
He was a man, let's say, very independent. He was a God to himself. And that's why God hated him. Tomorrow, we are going to speak more about this subject because this is the direction that the Holy Spirit has been giving me. Because many people say like this, oh, you know what, I can live in sin, I can walk in sin, I can fall slowly. From time to time, I can be in sin and come off track. Because God is love, His grace is enough. And because of this ideology, this disgraceful ideology, there are many people now in hell because they, they gave ears to this false doctrine, this satanic doctrine called my grace is enough, oh God's grace is enough. Not at all, my friend. It's not enough. What is enough for us is our salvation, the salvation of our soul, which means we have to be humble, always looking, always taking care of the most important thing, which is our soul. Please, look at yourself. Think of your situation. You are watching me right now, and you are so busy, you are so preoccupied with the things of this life and forgetting to look to the altar. You are no longer looking to the temple. You've stopped looking to the most important thing in your life, which is your soul, which is eternal. It will live for all eternity. If with God or without God, you are the one who will decide. You will make the choice. And that's why Jesus asked, what's more important, the goat or the temple that sanctifies the goat? What's more important, the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift? Think about that. Tomorrow we are going to be back. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen.